what's up beautiful people how are you guys doing yes thank you thank you so much for coming back if you're new here you're very much welcome kindly do subscribe and of course turn on the notifications bell so that we can always notify you yes so in today's video i just want to show you how we make cassava flour you guys um the african women here will tell me yeah guys so here in my village in the little community the staple food we have is this exactly this <laughs> so it's not like the nigerian gari or you know any kind of color outside the world right guys or any any other type of food so guys eat different things but here the main food is an african woman is color i mean if if you're to marry an alure man <laughs> The first thing you have to know is how to, you know, how to make this. So in today's video, I just want to show you. So here, just cassava. Kalo is actually made from cassava, you know. So these were picked yesterday. We picked this yesterday from the garden. So we peel the outer parts and then we make them to dry. Yes. So they dry for, they, they dry for, uh, for about two days. When they dry here, you take them inside, okay. And then you, um, you just let them uh, get rotten, should I say? Get fermented, should I call it? I don't even know, but yes, that's what you do. So you make them to get fermented. When you get fermented, you remove, yeah? I, I'm just going to show you when that time comes. And then from that, of course, you have to make food for the family. So as an African woman, when you're done doing that, you're going to dry them. And when you dry them... This is going to be your your end product, yeah? From that, this is going to be your end product, yeah? So, let me show you guys. This here is cassava that has been dried after the fermentation. So, what we do here, we don't have machines for grinding, okay? yeah so as an african you know village woman a typical african village woman you have to know how to pound these okay so we just gonna pound them so what i like is uh, i always love pounding and uh you know when you're singing some some cultural songs so you want to kneel down you always have to kneel you sit on a, a, a chair let me just just get it's not even a chair it's like a stool eh? okay so you sit on this or you kneel down okay so guys you you can put your legs in a way that is so comfortable so you first have to have of course a motor okay so this here guys is, is actually a motor uh this is a local motor and of course this is the I don't know what to call it, but this is called Okonyu in Alul. So you use this to pound, guys. And then you have to have a sieve, yeah? This here is called a sieve that is used for sieving after. And then you have a basin where you're going to sieve. Now when you sieve, you're going to get some, you know, some bigger particles than the one that you can use, uh, than the ones that you can use to, you know, to mingle. So those ones you put here and then you what? You 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 re, you repound them. So I'm going to just start with this, guys. So I think we've done this for the longest time ever. I remember during our childhood, yeah. So you just have to do that. But I think when I'm seated, I'm not really feeling so comfortable, yeah. So for the first times when you're pounding, they they what they they keep falling outside. So you just wanna be so gentle. So you pound. You can either use one hand or two hands. So you have to pound until this thing actually gets, like the, the particles get smaller, like until they really become. Is it fine? Science as you may tell me. So guys, as you're pounding, what happens is inside here becomes so hard and they become so compact. Eh? And you're going to find this, so you just want to remove them. And then you have to ensure that you really mix it so hard 
you mix it so that they are mixed because now the hard particles get inside okay so you just wanna mix them you know you mix them and then you shake so that the bigger particles come up and then the other ones go under yeah so as you can see so i just want to make this more interesting so i want to be singing as as i'm doing it guys <laughs> just join me in eh? let me know what are the casual songs in your you know in your area in your locality so those days when women are pounding they would be singing this eh? So guys, come join me. I feel you could have shed. Kawelo make it be no get a mopening. Give what the world is a welly eye in my bed. Lembang of a two. Lemoku fair, guys. Come and see, I'm almost done. Exactly. So let's just do this and get it all done. Done with, done with. Ah, African women, we are strong, we are powerful. Girl, let me just get this done. Because your family have to eat food. So guys, as you can see, we are actually almost done. <laughs> yeah, and of course, from the first pounding, the first round, we just managed to get this here, okay? So of course, there are some bigger particles that pass here. Yeah? So, we are almost done, and this is all we got, guys. And of course, this is not enough for today's food at all, you know. So, I'm just gonna re have to repound this, guys. I just have to repound this, like I told you, the larger particles. So, you just repound them so that you get food that can be enough for your family, you know. <laughs> Man, it's not easy, <laughs> it's not easy to, to be. Um, a typical, you know, African village woman, but it's it's a blessing, you know. I believe that's where most of us actually came from, you know. Uh, this was like a, a whole deal for African women then. So when you're done, you just wanna shake it to ensure that you leave nothing, you know, you leave no stone untouched under there. So with this one, you just pour like this, okay? Then and this this is our last one actually. Yeah, so we've sung the songs and everything. So I just want to pour this directly here because I'm just going to add this as well. So you have to ensure that you will burn this thing so that all the particles here get off. And then you keep it. Okay, so this is our first round. Uh, this is our pounding stick. So I'm just going to add this back. And then I, I you know, I, I just redo this so that we get enough food for the family, guys. Ah! Big gaps to all African women, you know. You know, we are strong. That is why you shouldn't ever let anyone intimidate you of where your ancestors came from, girl. <laughs> You're strong. You know, you're powerful. Just know. So don't let yourself be limited by anything. Just know. But of course, now life is sophisticated. But this is where we actually came from, guys. So I'm just going to... I have to repound this. <laughs> And the struggle continues until this is actually full, you know, because family members have to eat. So I'm just back to my work, guys. <laughs> so guys, I'm just going to continue with that, but, with that, but uh, I just wanted to show you. That, yes, this is how, you know, you make kalo. Kalo is um, a simple food for a low women uh, in the low community that is used for eating all kinds of sauces. You know, it's like, it's what the people love most. Like, they just love that specific one more. So, this is what we got. And we're just going to make this good lunch. Yeah, you just want to mingle it. Then you make food exactly, guys. So that was it from me to you for today, guys. You know, if you like this video, mm -hmm. just do me a favor, give it a like, and of course, leave a sweet comment for your girl. You know, just leave a sweet comment for your girl to see and turn on the notification so that we can always notify you. And of course, till the next time, I love you so so much. Bye bye.